Right on, it's Hip Hop Camp and I'm here with Paul Zwan. So, how do you enjoy the atmosphere of Hip Hop Camp? I fucking love it. I want to come back every year. I mean, there's a lot of people here supporting hip hop. They really love it. When you tell them put their hands up, everybody puts their hands up. When you say make noise, they make fucking noise. This is what hip hop's really about right here. The energy, all the people in here together, people from different countries, different nationalities, different religions. Everything is here. It's all hip hop. All right. You're an old school cat. I wanted to ask you about the art of crate digging itself, but let's Let's go even deeper, like when I'm mentioning crate digging, I'm also mentioning uh, the fact that you're gathering wisdom all around. Do you think that the hip hop heads are actually still taking care of bringing that wisdom into their heads? I think uh, with the help of the internet, it's, it's, a, it's a tool, but it can be used as a weapon. It's either or. It can help you dig and discover stuff you otherwise couldn't find before. It's a lot easier if you Google something or you Google somebody. So if you want to find it, that's the thing. The people that dig are as important as what they're digging for. Right. Because if, if you really want to find it, you'll find a way to get it. You know somebody that knows somebody, you're gonna dig, you'll go on the internet, you'll do your thing. But I mean, it's, it's like, you know, commercial and everything else, whatever. Those guys, they don't, they go for whatever's on the top. That's it, only the top, McDonald's, Burger King, that's it. They don't dig, so there's no soul. It's just all commercial, it's, it's fake. Right. But Right here, hip hop camp. Everybody's really into hip hop, so they know. People like if the artifacts, Razkaz, you know, Shabam Shadik, people like that. When they come out, they know. They know the history. The producer, the DJ, everything. Graffiti. They know everything. B boys. It's dope. All right. Uh, I was actually thinking about you meeting up with Razkaz. What's the story behind that? He's told that story here like a hundred times. Like, it's funny because. Back home in the United States, the prison system is like one of the biggest money makers. And uh, you know, he's from he's from Watts. Grew up in Carson. I was born in Compton. Grew up in Norwalk. And you know, he's black. I'm Mexican. So we're pretty much like prime candidates to go to prison. Which we both ended up in prison. And just by I don't know if it was luck or what, but we ended up in the same building. And uh, the racial tension is really bad. But I took a risk and uh, I I talked to him, and from there. Well, the, one of the first questions I asked them was, yo, how do I get a publicist? And a lot of people wanted to know, how can I meet Dr. Dre? Right. Everyone was asking him for the shortcut. And me, I want to know the business. So we've been friends since then. It's been five years, almost six years now. So we've been friends since then. And we came full circle. And now we're at Hip Hop Camp. Right. So good. You mentioned Camp Compton. I wanted to ask you about that because we I, I bet that we cannot actually imagine how how does one grow up in Compton. Uh, so what's the reality behind that? When you go back to your memories from Compton, the good and bad memories about growing up in Compton. I spent a lot of my younger years in Compton and then going back to visit family. But uh, I remember like you would find, you know, bullet shells in the gutter, like in the curb. Uh, I remember my dad was putting like bricks in front of the house because of the drive by. So the bullets couldn't get through the wood couldn't get through the walls. So he would put bricks because people were shooting all the time. And uh, I mean, it's just it's just crazy. It's a, it's a war zone, you know? Nobody really gets along with nobody, you know? Black, brown, whatever, this color, red, blue, nobody. It's just a war, everybody's going at it. So, but it created a lot of great music, legends, you know, Dr. Dre, Easy e you know, Kendrick Lamar's doing his thing. But it was, it's, it was no joke, but The struggle gives you more character, gives you more stories to tell. So I'm grateful for the fact that I was born there. I grew up in Norwalk, which is no joke either. A lot of my friends got killed, shot in the head, stuff like that. So, but yeah, it's pretty crazy, bro. It's the sinister parts when it comes to the good memories, your good memories about Compton growing up over there. I, the, my favorite memories were, uh, I had friends from like every nationality that was there. There was, uh, I had Samoan friends, I had black friends, I had Mexican friends, obviously. Um, I had different friends, and all we cared about was playing Nintendo, playing football, stuff like that. But Your favorite game on Nintendo? Uh, probably Punch-Out, Mike Tyson Punch-Out, punch out. yeah, Punch-Out was dope. But yeah, th those are my fun memories, going to school every day, seeing my friends. But you know, you try to make the best of where you live, because we don't understand, you're a kid, you don't understand. But now that I get older and I look back, like, it's fucking crazy. Right. When it comes to interviews, you, I know that you're interviewing people as well. How, 
how did you, how did you end up doing that? Or was it like suddenly you decided, hey, I need to do some interviews and let's let's go? Or this is how it actually happened. Okay, uh, OG Husky Radio, OGHuskyRadio.com. I had my own radio show, but I got the radio show because I went as a guest like this. Right. And we were drinking, you know, and I started. I took the mic and started asking questions to people, and I asked them different questions. So the the my friend Bubsky said, hey, come back next week, make your own show. So I made my own show, and it got really popular really fast. So the underground hip hop blog seen that, and they said, hey, we like your interviews, your questions, things like that. Will you do interviews for us? I've been with them since. Shout out to the underground hip hop blog, OGHuskyRadio.com. And since then, I've been doing interviews with uh, everybody up. Uh, Deltron, you know, Deltron 3030, Del, uh, Hyro, fucking, you name it. Uh, Mad Child, you know, Raz, different people, and I get to sit next to people that, you know, I, I've been listening to, I'm a fan of, people that are definitely making a mark in hip hop, so they give me knowledge, and a lot of them are very humble dudes, which is very appreciated, very rare too in hip hop. And I guess it's easier for you because you're an MC, so you understand the way they think. Yeah, exactly, because sometimes you, when people say, yo, your name is Pause One, uh, why? Why'd you get your name? So you get the same question all the time. But as an MC, you know, I kind of know other things. Like, yo, when, when you go, when you're on tour, what's the best place to eat? You know, or what, what hotel is terrible or stuff like that because people want to know. You know what I mean? Like funny stories, things, things that are interesting. You should have your own Michelin stars. Like, if yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, it's so much fun because you get, a, you get a know a different side of your favorite MC or your favorite group, you know, things you didn't know before. It's crazy. Right. When it comes to your inspirations, but what I'm actually thinking about, it's not the lyrics, but the technique itself. Right? The technique, you know, what's funny is uh, with hip hop, everybody, you got to be original. The style definitely has to be unique. And uh, I didn't want to mold my style after anybody. I would rather have somebody say he has no style than he sounds like this guy or he sounds like that guy. I want to sound like myself. So I really just... The, the delivery, I change it up, you know, the, the word play, whatever. The way I write is, is, is always different. I, try, I don't try to stick to the same formula. I guess the best example, my inspiration is Bruce Lee. I, for, as an MC, Bruce Lee, uh, you know, he said, be like water. You know, it, it can fill a glass, it can crash. Like, it's just, just go with whatever. So whatever beat you throw on, I'm gonna switch the style up and I'm gonna rap to that beat, you know? Uh, you're touring with Raskaz right now, Shabam Shadik as well. But what's what's next? What's your next step when it comes to your plans, your CDs, your LPs, and uh, what's up? I have a uh, I have an album out now called Face the Facts. It has a uh, Raskaz terminology, Raka Ava Science from Dilated, uh, Master Ace. It's on Below System Records. Shout out to Below System. Shout out to 22 Ventures. Uh, my next project, I'm working with the producer out of Switzerland. His name is VR Dope Shit Records. DopeShitRecords.org and my producer Default, we're doing another project. I'm also doing an EP with the Frog Brothers and Rusty Jooks, so that's gonna be dope. Uh, those are the three projects, and then I have a solo EP, Pick Your Poison, should be coming out soon. Um, I'm gonna be back in Europe with uh, Artifacts. Big ups to Tame, big ups to Elder Sensei, Chaos. We'll be back out here, Poland. We're trying to go everywhere, so we'll be back out here. You guys will definitely see more of me. Cool, so we'll see you in Poland then. Yeah. And the last question will be, it's a kind of tradition right now for me, I always ask this question, what is hip hop for you, strictly for you? Hip hop for me is is the air I breathe, it's like a religion, it's everything. Not to be corny, everybody says it, but if it wasn't for this, I would still be in prison or I would be dead. And that's a true story. So without this, I don't know where I would be, so this is everything to me, you know what I mean? So. I'm, I'm blessed to be here and be able to perform and make friends and you know what I mean? Something that I love so much loves me back and I, and I can't express that enough. I, I appreciate it. So big ups to Pose One. Thank you so much for your time. All good. Everybody in Poland, much love. Big up to Blender Art and Mobilizatia. Peace.